I think it's put him into a very difficult and contradictory uh, uh, position because uh, this wasn't the first time that Bashar Assad crossed the red line. There are some allegations that it was as many as 30 times, absolutely as many as 10. And there's no doubt that this is chemical weapons. Come on. Uh, does anybody really believe that, that those aren't chemical weapons, those bodies of those children stacked up? Uh, and, and so that, that's just a facade. And the other facade is, and the other uh, rationale for not intervening or, or helping people, uh, the Free Syrian Army, is that they may be overtaken by jihadists. The reason why I went to Syria, I want to meet them. I know General Idris. I know these people. They're not, they're, they're Muslim, but they're no more extremists than you and I are. And they're fighting for freedom, and we should be helping them uh, attain the goal of freeing themselves from one of the most brutal dictators in history. A hundred thousand people killed, a million children. I was at, let me just mention one anecdote. I was in Jordan in a refugee camp. A woman was taking me around who's a school teacher. She said to me, uh, all these children, she said, see these children, Senator McCain, that are going around here? I said, yes, I do. She said, they're going to take revenge on those people who refuse to help them, who they feel abandoned by. You know who she was talking about? Look, there's a lot of legacies with a lack of American leadership. There is no policy, there is no strategy, and there is no end game here. And until we get one, you're going to see this kind of confusion. And to announce that any action we take would not be aimed at regime change, to me, is uh, uh, incomprehensible.